Sandbag carries are one of my favorite exercises and for many of you they can be a great addition to your training as well. I can tell you uh, when I do this uh, like a heavy sandbag walk for as long as I can go after a workout as a finisher, one set is usually enough, maybe I do two, um, it absolutely melts my uh, you know, hamstrings, glutes, back. Uh, everything is involved there. So it's a really, really good exercise and I've found as I've gotten stronger at that, you know, it has had a nice carryover to other exercises in terms of feeling like my back is stronger on deadlifts, um, doing other things that are maybe a little more functional like uh, just carrying heavy backpacks and stuff on a canoe trip, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, long and the short, all to say, tremendous exercise. Uh, here's how you do it. As you may have guessed, a walking with a sandbag is a pretty simple exercise. There's not a ton of technique to it, uh, but you do want to make sure that you set the sandbag properly in your hands and have a good grip and get it set properly. So if you haven't, check out the video that I did on how to actually pick it up and get that organized. Then the other thing that you really want to focus on is um, keeping a little bit of a bend in the knee and keeping the hips super active. So what I mean by that is as you're walking with the sandbag, as you take a step and you're momentarily balancing just on one leg, the tendency if your hips are a bit weak or not active is to have the hips tip or drop, right? And then when I balance on this other leg, I have this sort of little shimmy or little instability. One of the things that we're working on with any loaded carry exercise is our ability to maintain a strong hip position, i.e. where my hips stay level and don't drop off um, all the way through under you know, increasingly heavy loads and under fatigue and all that kind of stuff. So that's probably the biggest thing that you want to focus on as you're going through this exercise. I'm going to just pick it up, make sure I get my hands set, and then I just take it for a walk. See you later. So as I'm walking, you can see my knees are a little bent. I'm a little bit leaned back to balance the sandbag. And that's going to put appropriate um, kind of stress on my hamstrings, glutes, and the muscles that are holding me up. Um, from the back, again, I want to make sure my hips stay level and don't kind of drop out. Obviously, that was a little exaggerated, but you kind of get the idea, hopefully. Now, the deal with sandbag carries is by its nature, it's not going to be an absolute strength exercise. You're probably not going to have a one rep max in this or the maximum weight that you can do for, you know, five or 10 meters. Uh, a heavy yoke or maybe farmer's walks would be a more appropriate one uh, exercise if you want to go for pure strength. So typically with the sandbag, you're going to be doing distances that take, you know, anywhere from um, 30 seconds to maybe even two minutes to complete. You're really more working on muscle and postural endurance of all the muscles in your sort of core, back, and posterior chain.